Hello everyone. Um, today we're gonna talk about sugar and how to correctly calculate the right amount of sugar that you're gonna need for your wine. It's pretty straightforward, uh, very simple math. You need to know what's your yeast alcohol tolerance. Very important. You also need to know how many liters of wine you're gonna be making. Your yeast need 17 grams of sugar to make 1% of alcohol in one liter of water juice whatever so for example if you're going to be making 20 liters of water and your yeast alcohol tolerance is 16 percent then you just pretty much multiply 20 liters by 16 percent and by 17 grams and the result is telling you how much sugar you need to make your wine There are other aspects uh, such as um, the sweetness of your wine if you prefer sweeter wines or dry wines obviously that you need to make a few adjustments because what needs to be taken into consideration is uh, the sweetness of the fruit and the, or juice or whatever you're using for that. Personally I prefer using the fresh fruit for my wines, which is probably more difficult, more difficult to calculate the right amount of sugar that's needed because you never know what is actually the amount of sugar in that juice. So, uh, but I don't mind. I, I don't mind having uh, my wines a bit sweeter or semi-sweet. Um, it's, it's all about the preference, really. And also, you need to think of how strong you want your wine to be. I usually use yeast that have. Um, 16% alcohol tolerance. That means if you put enough sugar into your wine, your yeast are going to start processing that sugar into alcohol. And once they reach, your wine reaches 16%, um, uh, which is the tolerance of yeast, the fermentation will stop and your yeast are going to die. That's what it means. But to be fair, I don't really mind if my wine is going to be 15% or 14 or 13. As long as it tastes good, uh, I'm not too bothered. Um, but if you want to calculate everything properly and very accurately, I suggest you buy yourself something like this. It's called a hydrometer. And that helps you to measure the amount of sugar in the juice you're going to be using for your wine. And that also shows you what's the potential percentage of alcohol you're going to get. But that, but that wouldn't work if you use a fresh fruit to make your wine with. If you don't mind spending a little bit of money, then I suggest you buy yourself a fruit press. They're not very expensive and that will help you to get as much juice as possible out of the fruit and then you can make your wine from pure juice and you're going to be able to make a very accurate calculations but um yeah they, but that's as i said i'm not too really bothered about that um i like to have my wines organic i like I want them to taste nice, at least I know they're made from fresh fruits, from organic fruits, and, and that, that's what matters to me. Anyhow, whatever way you're going to use, it's absolutely fine. Um, I'm sure your wine will taste good, and hopefully you're going to share your results with me, and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Another important thing, another important thing is, once you calculate the right amount of sugar, I would not advise you to add it all in one go i will advise you to add your sugar in a few portions at least two portions that's what i'm doing at least two portions i'll tell you why if you apply too much sugar into your wine in all in one go then your yeast might not start processing the sugar into alcohol 
because there will be too much sugar in there and the fermentation will not start or it will start extremely slowly which you don't want that. Normally what I do, I just calculate the amount of sugar I had first portion and after about 10 days when I separate the fruit from the wine and when I know that the yeast probably processed the sugar I've added before already into alcohol I take some measurements then see if actually the sugar levels go down then I add the second portion it's safer I normally um, divide the total amount of sugar into two or three portions and also because I like to be in control of what's happening it's better to add not enough sugar than too much you can always add some more after that if your yeast process the old sugar you've added in a first portion as a first portion nothing happens you can add some more in a week or two it doesn't really matter once you add some more sugar they will start processing that into more alcohol but when you add too much sugar and let's say your yeast tolerance sixteen percent, but it doesn't really guarantee you that that they're gonna reach that level. So that's why I normally just double check in in, in a couple of months. I always double check on my wine if it's not sweet enough, or then I just add slightly more and more and more and until I'm satisfied um, with the taste of it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you got any questions, and thank you very much for watching. Again, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.